Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. Playing Lilia versus Lee Singa. Kick my brother into okay. And then we're building Leandri's as our first item. Leandri's giving you 90 ability power, 300 HP, and then that burn passive as well as stacking percentage damage increase. Lilia also now has the void grubs to play around, which is super nice. Super, super nice for her early game. Gives you something to skirmish for, whereas she didn't really have much to skirmish for before, other than the enemy raptors, for example. So that's what we'd be playing for. Lilia generally has a clear speed advantage against Mr. Lee Sin. So, cute. That's one that you want to utilize against him. I mean, just in general, we want to get a lot of camps. We want to have a lot of farm. And then we want to get an item advantage. Then we want to have a level advantage. And then we want to look for a skirmish with our friends. And then kind of rinse and repeat. Every time we get a kill and assist and we get more farm than the enemy and we win a play, we're going to have more items than the enemy. Generally, our items are going to give us both damage and durability. And since that's the case, it will speed up our clear. And every time we speed up our clear, we just speed up the whole process here. So. What? Stupid little golems. Hey, I need a fast clear. Weren't you guys listening? Alrighty. Um, I didn't pay attention to where Lee Sin started. If I had to guess, it was red, but that's pretty irresponsible for me. Anyways, runes were running. Conqueror, Triumph. They recently changed Triumph, where you get 5% of your missing HP restored as well. So that's very good for champions like Lilia that want to go in and start a big play. Think about the times where you flash Q and then ulti. You're going to take a lot of damage, but if you get a single killer assist, you're going to be able to live that play. And that's pretty cool. Um, Alacrity to increase the clear speed, coop for more damage, and then free boots and cosmic insight. More flash engages, more smites, just more fighting in general. Anytime we're playing against a jungler like Lee Sin, he's running Resolve. I was going to say you match the inspiration tree, but he's doing it weird. What do you got? Shield bash in that big man? Like, what's... Alrighty, so on our blue side camps here, we are vulnerable. So we're going to do the Gromp first. This gets the minor camps respawning faster. So again, we get more camps. And then we also make it where if Lee Sin's in our blue side, trying to find us, then he's going to have to spend more time doing so. It's always going to be easier for the enemy jungler to find you on the blue buff than it is on the Grom. And my bot lane is dead before I can get there. Just standard practice here. And John is dead too. Let's go. W. Auto. Alrighty, we got level 4, so maybe I'm maintaining my stacks with the Scuttle Crab there. And then into the flank on bot lane. Wish me luck. They can only go so far. E. Q. Auto, moving. Come here, Buster. Auto, W. Auto, Q. Auto. Auto. Shut down. Four minutes in, shut down. Now Lee Sin shows top, so I'm good to go to this scuttle without being contested. And then we want to get back to our red side camps, but since we spent so much time on the bot side, and we just got that double kill, let's go ahead and reset. We can get to the top side. Do two camps, get level 5, and then fight for those Void Grubs. Blasting one, Amp Tome, and a Ruby Crystal. We'll get a Control Word as well. And then reset right to those Golems. Now, we're not going to skip the Golems and the Raptors. We want to get these so that we get level 5. Not only do we have the Item Advantage, but then with this, we'll have the Level Advantage over the Lee Sin. We'll also be even in levels with the Solo Lanes until they hit level 6. So if this all happens fast enough for you, then you can fight on even ground on the Void Grubs. And that's just to your total interest. If you're fighting a level down, the enemy's going to be dealing more damage and taking less damage. We don't want that. Unless you're a masochist. Unless you like being hurt. It's just, it's just when the right person hurts me, that's when I like it. Okay. I didn't ask. Alrighty, let's hit this Scryer here. It's going to reveal this ward. And they do have the Scuttle Crab here, but Mr. Lee Sin is in his red side camp. So he's going to have to skip camps to come contest us on the Void Grubs here. So we'll hit these, pull them together, and then our Q can hit all three. You want to save the Smite until the enemy jungler shows up. And these will be giving us quite a bit of XP as well. So anytime you can do these, especially in combination with your camps, and you're going to be hitting level 6 much sooner. Just like that, we're 50% to level 6. So right to our blue side camps, and then these two will give us level 6. And then we're good to go! 
you can get level 6 way faster on champions like Lilia now, which is so juice. You used to have to wait for second red buff and stuff like that. Respawning scuttle crab, not anymore. Now the game is just sped up. In the meantime, too, the enemy Lee Sin, he's either playing for this dragon or he's passed up to top side. So we do not care. If my bot lane had any control to imagine, I could just show up on that dragon. Show him who's boss. Okay, Shin is level 6. I need to keep that in mind. I don't want to do the, uh, doing everything right into just randomly inting a play combo. Alrighty, level 6, and we're going to EQ, auto, moving, auto, moving, auto, and then we're going to auto, and then there's the damn Shin ult. He's super early. Well, John is dead, so from here, we really don't have a great play, but I'm just going to stop this guy's recall and go into the... Leeson's red side. Now I might be outnumbered with the Corky pushing mid lane, but that's okay. Wait for that, and in we go. Oh my god! A level 7 Corky, watch out! E. Q. Auto. Ulti. Auto. Moving. W. Damn, this guy's fast. Smythe. E. Moving. Q, flash, auto. Moving. W. Oh, I think if I just Q'd, I would have been fine. Oh, well. That's four fellows right there, and there's only one of me, so, you know, I, and I could have played it a little better. The flash was a little scuffed. Oh, but they're going to clean them up, you know. It's all right. Let's get a dark seal and get on out there. Yeah, danger, danger. How about you just win your lane? How about that? Auto. 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 Oh, Nelly! Okay, guys. Clean up some camps here. After all that action, same old, same old. The Gwen has ulti, so she should be able to take out the Shin. Nice one. And since Shin is dead, I'll go ahead and move into the Lee Sin's blue side here. Do -do -do. He does have ulti. But then he should know that I have my laner advantage right here. Phew. My smite's coming up, so I'm feeling pretty confident with that. And then if he attacks Gwen, that's fine with me. He only has so many options from here. Smite. This is the Q, and he's going to enter. Even if he enters the river, it's harder to have an attack. Hey! Hey! Baby! Cassiopeia, wake up! E, Q, W. Auto, moving. Cassiopeia, wake up! Q! No! Okay. Thank God he didn't, like, flash kick me or something. If Lee Sin, or if Shin ulted Lee Sin too. Like, what in the world? Play for me! This is where Lily gets real frustrating when the allies don't just simply hit the bad guy with you. Oh, it gets real complicated now, doesn't it? Play safe. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm a tempo machine. I'm ramped up. I'm ready to fight. I'm like Hulk Hogan in the 80s. I'm on steroids. I'm ready to pump. Well, I think I want to try to gank top lane and then look for the void grubs again. Second ones are coming up. They have a four minute respawn timer, so if you take them pretty early, then it's easier to get them again. You're dead? To what? What are you dead to? This guy's going wit's end. Shin smacking, huh? E. Ay, ay, ay. Q. Smite. Auto. Q. W. Ulti. Q. Not as easy. Nope, I think we lose Void Grubs, but I'll go ahead and reset. I got my Leandries. We got a kill. It's okay. My team's messing up. I'm gonna be maxing the W second. Leandries, and then we can choose defensive boots here. Since they're all on hit, it'd be pretty irresponsible to not go Ninja Tappy. The best boots ever. And then we can play for the bot side generally. Doing our blue side camps and being in the river, but my ulti won't be up for a little bit. So... And my lanes just aren't in good positions. Lilia really sucks whenever the map states like this. 
I mean, any jungler sucks when her, their lane's getting pushed in and losing, but Lilia, it's like, oh my god, I have nothing to do. So with Leandris, it's like old Leandris or Demonic. You apply that burn to the camps and it really speeds up the clear, as you can see. Lily is a ramp jungler. The stronger you get, the faster you clear. And that is just as true this season as ever. Next goal here is going to be a skirmish. If we win a good skirmish, then we can actually have something to do. But if we're looking for any solo plays or any overforced ganks, then it's not going to work out. Same with my laners. They're doing their own play. So that's why it pretty much sucks. E, Q, moving, moving, Q. Now I'm two levels up on Lee Sin from our farm advantage, but utilizing that is pretty hard because my mid laner's dead. My ADC's dead. I'm gonna push mid lane. Would I fight these guys 1v3? No, I don't have ulti. But it's gonna take them a little bit to do the dragon. So, a control word right there, and then we can put... Whoa! Q, E, moving, smite. Q. He already used his Q, so we're good on that front. Q. Alrighty. I forgot. Not only are, am I outnumbered with the ADC, mid, and jungle. Here comes the support. You guys aren't making it easy today now, are you? We got level 9. Now that's a very important step for Lilia because you get your Q max. You can see the cooldown is very nice. We don't even have any ability haste purchased yet, too. Alrighty, Q and moving. Hello. You know how this one goes. Q, ulti. Q. Go ahead and push this in and get a reset off. Since Shin was hitting the turret, he's too far up. He's too dedicated to the play. But honestly, I probably didn't have to ulti. Alrighty, keep maxing the W. Next step is going to be level 11 and level 13, giving us our W max and our second point in our ulti. Ninja Tabby, and for our second item here, these guys deal a lot of damage. They deal a lot of damage. We're going to go with Cosmic Drive. A little bit of Fiendish Codex and a Ruby Crystal. Cosmic Drive gives us 80 ability power, 250 HP, 25 ability haste, and 5% movement speed. Damaging an enemy with an ability grants 44 movement speed for two seconds. You might think that's a bit excessive, but every time we damage an enemy with our abilities, we gain a percentage movement speed increase. The movement speed we get from Cosmic Drive is flat, 44. So, those two will work together, making us go real fast. And that will help me outplay the entire enemy team, as well as giving us more ability haste. So that's more Qs, more ultis. Nice, he's overreaching, he's trolling. Nice, Mr. Pike, you have to die. Got him. Q, smite. Come on, please die. We got a Dark Harvest stack at least. Or no, I'm running Conqueror, never mind. Hit that turret. They could be on Rift Herald, but it takes them a long time to do solo. So we can take the turret and go fight the Lee Sin. E, moving. Close. Hello, friend. He has a Hydra and Merc Treads. But I'm a level up. We still win the fight. It's fine. Let's farm. Listen, guys. My champion is designed to skirmish, but I can't get a skirmish with my team. And then they die. Anyways. So all we can do instead, since there's no preemptive plays, no working with our team. Now we're down to our last straw. Wait for the enemy to make a mistake and punish them. Mr. Shin, do you want to hit the turret? Oh, it has Lee Sin behind him. Q. Ulti. Oh. 
Cute. If Shin moves forward, that's a pretty telltale sign. Q, ulti. E, moving. Q, auto. And we're gonna W. Auto. Hey! I didn't need all that. He doesn't have ward hop, so he's dead. Pretty stupid flash. We had the red buff burn, we have our Leandri's burn, and we have our passive burn. He is, even though he flashes away with like 200 HP, not so fast. Nice! Enemy gave me the, the freest mistake ever. Let's go ahead and clean up some camps and then reset for that dragon. By the grace of God, they got two dragons, even though we got a Caitlyn bot lane. We'll see if we can't turn it around right here. Nice, we got the full cosmic drive. I'm gonna go for this, and then I don't really know where to go from here, I'll be honest. So let's get a control word and just get out there. We could go Banshee's Veil, it gives us some magic resist. To go Riftmaker, you might think like, you can get the double stacking in the drain tank. I'm gonna get one shot by the Jin and Corky, okay? So, that's a real problem for me. That's where it's so difficult. Corky is AP burst, and the Jin is lethality burst, and it's like, how do I play against this? I'm trying to clean up some camps before the dragon spawns here. The Cosmic Drive completed now, I'll be able to have more DPS in the fights. As we'll have way more Qs. Control Ward, of course that is warded. And I want to occupy this area. E, Q, moving. Q, W, Q. Nice, we got his kick. He's gonna die eventually, I think. Pretty bad way of starting this fight, guys. They still have Shin ulti, so it makes it super hard for me to go back in. Nice. Whoa! That killed him. Hello! Smite! Q. Alrighty, I can finish off the dragon. <clears throat> Focusing the dragon. The pike is... What? Q, moving. I think I'm dead. Q. Q. Yeah, you're gonna need the Shin ulti, huh? The Cosmic Drive saved me right there. I got the extra movement speed. Maybe I should go Riftmaker, the way that all functioned. I stayed alive for so long. Hmm. Because these don't do anything. So it's like Banshees, Riftmaker, or Zonias. And I feel like Riftmaker is my best bet because it gives me HP. It gives me HP and ability power. And it gives me a lot of effective HP. As well as a stacking... Um, a stacking percentage damage increase. Which is so easy for Lilia to build up because you damage the enemy. And then you apply a damage over time. Which will keep you in combat. Making sure that you get that percentage damage increase from both of the Andres. And... And the Riftmaker. Mr. Shin! Q. I should just go for a flank, I think. Now this is risky, but... We easily win the 1v1. Q. E. W. Auto. Q. Dude, we like one- <laughs> We one-shot him. He has the world's worst build. Wits and Tiamat. We can win. We can win. I'm level 14, and here's how we carry his Lilia. Fight right now? No, no, no. Stay focused, man. Get level 16. And then win a single team fight. That's how we win. Meanwhile, Onus is on the enemy to push their lead, or else I'm outscaling them. Not only are we getting HP from that Riftmaker, but we're also getting HP every time we level up. Getting more durability. Wow, noob alert. Q, ulti. Moving. W. Q, E, smite. Auto. Auto. He's pretty durable, I'll give him that. On to Jin. W. Auto. Q. And that is barren for us. I can't believe it. We won the game. That was easy. Enemy team trolled their build, lost one fight, and that will be that. What is this guy thinking? Q. 
What is my team thinking? Come on, guys. Don't chase the Shin Pike. Save our E in case the Corky approaches. Alrighty, let's uh, clean up whatever camps are left and get a reset off. We got the Rhythmaker. Mr. Shin, you've gone too far for like the 50th time right here. Mike Shell, it's split pushing. Q. Moving. W. E. Q. Oh, gee, mama. Alrighty. I'm not taking any risk with that. I don't know what Mr. Titanic Wits and Shin is all, all about, so. We'll just go ahead and reset. Keep our Baron buff. One kill on Shin does not help us win. Rift Maker, and then easily we're going to go some Magic Resist right here. Our weakest stat is that Magic Resist, where we have 100 armor and we have like 50 Magic Resist. So, that shores up a lot of the weakness, because every one of their champions, besides Jin and Pike, deal magic damage. Let's uh, clean up some waves here, and then get level 16, and Zen push with my team. Alrighty, I got level 16, we're in there. As strong as I am, I need the Caitlyn to hit a turret for me to have a siege. So, I want to be around them as they're hitting the turret so that they're safe. Offense is the best defense. E. Auto. No. Okay. Moving. E. Close. Nice, they're attacking Gwen. Let's go. E right there. Moving. That was a smart ghost blade by this guy. Kill that guy by accident. I'm out of mana, man. I needed a blue buff. My bad. I'm going to dragon, boys. I can't keep sieging. <laughs> the fight took too long. Oh man. There's no camps for me to take to get that regen. I mean, that was pretty good, though. I couldn't really, like, say out my abilities because I needed to focus, man. My champ moves fast. Basically what happened. We press into them, we do the back and forth, we faint in and out, and then make them try to attack us. And if we dodge their attacks with each in and out, then we win. Nice. I didn't have smite. Let's clean up the camps, get closer to Banshee's Veil here. Could also get Medjai's on the reset. But now we're waiting for the next Baron spawn. Played. Level 17 to <laughs> the least since level 13. 235 CS to 175. Let's do Medjai's. But then again, Verdant Barrier gives me a whole spell shield. If I can't be Pike Hooked, Shin Taunted, we dodge some damage with the spell shield too. This gives us a bit more magic resist. We'll see. 1 minute and 40 on Baron, and that's our real shebang here. We already have the mid and hip down, so that's where the enemy is mostly going to be around, is around the mid lane. So if we are actually grouped up, we can play for a pick. Close. Procs our spell shield. Q. 
ulti. Q. W. E. Q. Q. I already, now we push mid. Push mid, pressure them, and then we can fall back to the Baron. Q. Smite. Moving. Q. It's all about our E here. I don't want to get too close to them. Down. Come on. Come on, man. Amazing. What is that damage? Waiting. Hmm. Once again, I don't have to commit to this. That's the thing. Jin needs it. I don't. The auto Q autos me. I'm probably dead. So once again, I'm out. Damn it. There's no camps. Run. Run. He's still going. Cassiopeia says on the way, but I don't believe her. I'm resetting. Fight's gonna happen. Nice, nice. That's Baron. Now, Lee Sin's alive for this one. So I am going to have to be pretty cautious, and we're going to need Cassiopeia to tank this. Never mind, we have Gwyn. Wow, we do this so fast, huh? Phew. Yes, sir. Alrighty, we're juiced once again. We got the two inhibs down. Banshee's Veil. Iron Elixir. No matter how much more damage we get... It's not really going to change things, whereas if I can survive more damage, then I'm really juiced. Especially against these big ranged carries like Corky and Jin. They're in the late game. Do have to respect that part. So the Iron Elixir gives us 300 HP. Banshee's Veil, 120 AP now. As well as 50 magic resist and a spell shield every 30 seconds. My Gwyn is dead. She doesn't have TP either. But at least they just have Shin, you know. He's not the, not the sharpest tool in the shed. Ulti. W. Q. Smite. Q. Q. No. Ah! So close. Cassiopeia, come on! Come help me out! Cassiopeia, help! They have a choice. Dragon Soul or defend Cassiopeia, but damn, man. I just had a little bit more juice. Build a Banshee's Veil. Find myself in a 1v1 with Jin combo. Q, E. He's dead. Pike's damage is falling off, that's for sure. Q. If they get air soul, that's neither here nor there. Honestly, we have three inhibs down and they only have one turret left, so I'm still feeling pretty good. Ideas. Whoa, Quirky flashed. And Kobe. Having the blue buff before the fights is so good. I can actually run out of mana. I'm not used to that.
not sure how to feel about my damage in the late game here. It definitely feels like I'm doing less. But it's also harder to get a good fight for myself in which I stack up things and then go in. you think this would be easy with three inhibs down, but... I want to stay grouped up with the Janna and then the Caitlyn. And it'd be better if the Gwen and Cassiopeia still push for now. And then we meet all the waves in the middle. They can't engage on us, so we can freely push up. Since we have Janna and Cassiopeia. Okay, GG, I guess. Auto. Auto. GG. Weird. Neither team did anything at the end there. Oh, final score, 12, 2, and 5. And that is Lilia. Step 1, ramp up. Step 2, skirmish. But you can ramp up so much faster because of those void grubs. I was level 6 off the third gromp. Nice. Beast. <clears throat> and then when you're strong, we skirmish. Not so much 1v1 plays, not so much uh, defending things. It's just when the enemy is there, presents themselves, bang. Especially the more people you're hitting, the more value you have. Final damage dealt, 34,000. Now let's look at this, true damage and magic damage. So we dealt 10,000 true damage. The Riftmaker gives us more true damage. Whereas the Leandres gives us that magic damage burn, but also gives us a percentage damage increase. But Riftmaker, once fully stacked, um, actually doesn't give us true damage. Hold on, let me read this item. Riftmaker. What does this item do? 80 ability power, 15 ability haste, 350 HP, so the stats are fine. Void corruption for each second in combat. Deal 2% increased damage, stacking up to 5 times, 10% at max. And then, once fully stacked, gain 10% Omni Vamp. That's what I thought. Now, Omni Vamp is going to be applying to true and magic damage, and physical damage, but that's the main thing for Lilia, is you hit multiple people. So then you're healing from multiple people. That is true with Conqueror as well. So Conqueror healed us 600 this game. Whenever Conqueror is fully stacked, Everyone we hit and the damage over time will be healing us. So the more people we hit, the better. This game, though, everyone on their team was just kind of scattered around, you know? Pike's not going in. Corky Jin are on opposite sides. Lee Sin's doing nothing. Shin's doing nothing. So we couldn't really hit five people with our abilities. And then also as Void Infusion, gain ability power equal to 2% of your bonus HP. Interesting. Let's see how much AP that gave us at the end of the game, then. Because that's like just adding Vladimir passive on top of all of this. And that's our entire build is gaining, getting ability power and HP. So then after the Riftmaker, Deathcap would easily be our best last, last item. The Banshee's Veil didn't do nothing. 120 AP, Magic Resist and whatnot. I didn't really feel it. I didn't really feel having the Magic Resist. Whereas if I had a ton of AP from a thing like Deathcap... It would just be the perfect in-game item. Alrighty, so... Okay, never mind. 2% of your bonus HP is ability power. 22 ability power. That's an amp tome for free, baby! I mean, it's something. It's something. Alrighty. GG, thanks for watching. Um, let me know which champion you want to see next. I hope your games are going good in Season 14, and I wish you the best. Alrighty, peace. Thanks for watching.